In this video, we will factor quadratic expressions when the leading coefficient a is less than zero using the graph of the related quadratic function. Or if we consider the quadratic function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can write this in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where r sub one and r sub two are the zeros of the quadratic function. Remember the zeros are the x values that make y or the function value equal to zero, which means to find the zeros, we locate the horizontal intercepts of the graph. Remember when graphing a quadratic function on the coordinate plane, if we look for the horizontal intercepts, there are three possibilities. We can have two distinct horizontal intercepts, which gives us two distinct binomial factors, or we can have a single horizontal intercept where the graph touches the horizontal axis and bounces back, where this gives us a double zero, where we say r sub one and r sub two are equal to the zero, which gives us two of the same binomial factors, and if there are no horizontal intercepts, there are no binomial factors. So going back to our examples, to factor negative four x squared plus 25 using a graph, we need to graph the quadratic function y equals negative four x squared plus 25. And to save some time, I've already graphed the function here on the right. Notice how we have two horizontal intercepts, one here on the left and one here on the right, where the ordered pair for this point is negative 2.5 comma zero. Negative 2.5 is negative two and a half or negative five halves. Let's use the improper fraction of negative five halves and then comma zero. The ordered pair for this point is 2.5 comma zero, but let's use five halves comma zero. So now we know that a, the coefficient of x squared is negative four. Let's let r sub one equal negative five halves. And we'll let r sub two equal five halves. Which means the expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two would be a, which is negative four, times the quantity x minus r sub one is x minus negative five halves, which simplifies to x plus five halves. And then x minus r sub two is x minus five halves. So while this could be considered factored form, we normally don't leave fractions in the binomials. Because of the denominators of two, if we multiply each binomial by two, we can clear the fractions from the binomials. And we could write negative four as negative one times two times two. So let's change the order of this product and write this as negative or negative one times two times the quantity x plus five halves times two times the quantity x minus five halves. And now to clear the fractions, we'll distribute two here and distribute two here. Instead of having a negative one here, let's just write it as a negative. And then distributing two, we have two times x, that's two x, plus two times five halves simplifies to five. Distributing two here, we have two times x or two x, and then minus, again, two times five halves simplifies to five. So this would be the factored form of the given expression. And now for the second expression, we begin by graphing y equals negative x squared plus five x plus 36. I've already graphed this function on the right, and notice how we can easily determine the horizontal intercepts. We have one here at negative four comma zero, and one here at nine comma zero. So looking at the expression, we know that a, the coefficient of x squared is negative one, r sub one is negative four, and r sub two is positive nine. Writing the expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two gives us negative one times the quantity x minus negative four, which simplifies to x plus four, and then times the quantity x minus nine. Again, this would be considered the factored form. We can leave the negative one here, or just write this as negative, and then the quantity x plus four times the quantity x minus nine. Either is correct. I hope you found this helpful.